The converse is when you switch the if and then of a conditional statement. Well, a conditional statement means if something happens, then something else must be true, which you could think of it as a hypothesis and conclusion. So a converse is not always true. So let's look at two examples. Here we're being asked, find the converse of the statement, then ask yourself, is it true? So this first statement says, if it is Monday, then it is a weekday. Well, that's true. If today's Monday, then it's a weekday. So the converse is going to take the if and the then and switch them. Or another way of thinking of it is we're going to take what comes after then and write it after if. So I'm going to say if it is a weekday. So I'm going to take that second part, which was our conclusion. If it is a weekday. Okay, now I need to switch it again. Then I'm going to say the first part of my statement here, which says it is Monday. Okay, so the converse, again, takes the hypothesis and the conclusion and switches them. Well, if it's a weekday, then is Monday is not always true. What if today was Tuesday? Tuesday is a weekday. So not every weekday is Monday, so the statement here is not true. The converse is not true. Let's look at one more and apply it to geometry. If an angle measures 88 degrees, then it is acute. Well, that's true. By definition, an acute angle is any angle that measures less than 90 degrees but more than 0 degrees. So let's find our converse. So I'm going to take the if, and instead of saying if an angle measures 88 degrees, I'm going to take the second part of this statement. So I'm going to write that instead of saying if it is acute, doesn't tell me anything, if an angle is acute, Okay, so there I had to add in a couple words to make, make sure it made sense. Then, now I'm going to say the second part. The angle measures 88 degrees. Then the angle measures 88 degrees. So, if we look at this statement, let's say I had an angle right here that measured 75 degrees. Well, it's an acute angle, but it's not equal to exactly 88 degrees. So the converse of this statement is not true as well. But not every statement in geometry whose converse is going to be false. Okay, so that's not always going to happen. I just gave two examples here where if you take the if and the then statement, switch them, and evaluate them, you can find counterexamples, which makes the converse not true.